The Maltese Vegan Vegan rats lacked energy You're right, so, so, so Let me get this straight Anyone not vegan is always energetic Fat gives you energy It's not carbs Which is basically glucose and other sugars that give you energy Because that's what your mitochondria The core of your energy, of the energy of each cell Thrives on, on glucose that's, It's not carbs, no it's fat, which actually blocks the, the absorption of uh, sugars. <laughs> it just doesn't make sense. Yes, they lack energy. What were you feeding them? Do we know what you were feeding them? Were you feeding them lettuce? And maybe like half a lettuce, half a lettuce leaf? <laughs> Such crap. So I think I'm almost uh, done here. I noticed there were some links which give examples of specific people. Um, let's you could call them if you want testimonials um, that prove that uh, veganism is somehow uh, bad for you. Uh, really, just tell me if you want to go me to go to any of these. I'll just do it and I'll just do another video. I've got absolutely no problem with that. But I'm just going to go to the most interesting ones. Yeah, I've got Mahatma Gandhi uh, failing on veganism. I mean, come on. Even if that were that, that were true, you've seen Mahatma Gandhi pictures, and he definitely wasn't uh, in a hypo hyper cal calorific state. So he was probably not eating enough. If that was really the case, that he was in state of a vegan diet, but. And still, even if he wasn't, and even if it wasn't a question of cal uh, calories, I am 100% sure that if he was eating meat, he wasn't eating the amounts that the person who recommended the article did. So he's probably eating maybe like a chimpanzee, nine times a year, which still promotes cruelty to animals, is still bad, I, at least I still don't agree with that, but it's far better than what the current western diet is eating so yeah deficiency ah that that reminds me i probably should have seen it in the previous article but there was an it was referring to the b12 deficiency i've already done a video on this uh if you want to go and see it but i'll go over it very quickly if the person who recommended this article is happy that by not eating a vegan diet or eating all the meat that he does not to mention the crap literally that he does then that means that he's also happy to be eating feces because the only source of b12 is bacteria the bacteria living in our intestines or those of animals so you're either eating the intestines which are filthy or else you've got shit or feces, excuse my language, on the meat. I prefer to eat clean food and take my supplement, as should you. Rickets in a vegan infant, infant. By the way, vitamin D source, only source, only at least original source, is the sun. So if this vegan was deficient, He's either living in an area where the sun, uh, the sun's angle is not promoting vitamin vitamin D production, or is not going in the sun. And if that was the case, then he should have been given a supplement. But since the source is the sun, then if you're a meat eater who's stuck in a fast food restaurant. And it's not going out just stuffing himself with food he's gonna be vitamin d deficient case in point my very good friend not the kind that sends me these crap articles um who unfortunately still eats quite a lot of meat was got his results showing he's vitamin d deficient i'm not i hope he actually gets better because he's a very good friend but 
If you're gonna mention one of anecdotal cases, then I'm gonna mention a million others. And just look at the, the science behind it. I mean, if, you, if all you've got is these few testimonials, when you've got half the world at least dying every day from some disease, chronic, generally, disease because of overconsumption of animal products, then this means absolutely nothing. You've got heart disease. Well, I mean, there, there's a video on nutritionfacts.com, it's, it's a bit long, but at least you can watch the first 20 minutes where you get the list of the top killers according to the CDC. And all of them are related to chronic inflammatory diseases. And are all these vegans? No, because obviously veganism has still not picked up as much. So these people, they, these diseases can't be at the top 10 and be caused by veganism. So why don't you look there first? Then we'll see if there are any problems with veganism. Yeah, Joel Fruim, um, uh, actually promoter of veganism, somehow this ended up as a testimonial for not having veganism. And as far as I know, yeah, this is where in fact there was this B12 deficiency thing and the reference to DHA blood levels. So this is going to be my final point and I'll close this video here because as I said, too much bullshit for one day. Uh, DHA, DHA, another word. DHA, another word for, or well, I'm simplifying here, but let's say it's another word for omega-3. Where do we get omega-3? Obviously, someone who is not vegan or not vegan literate, let's say, would say it's from fish. Where did the fish get it from? Guess where? Plants, seaweeds. We used to think, and it used to be true, I suppose, when we actually had the real free-range chickens, that we had omega-3 in chicken and mostly in eggs. How did it end up there and why isn't it there now? Well, before they used to get it from the grass, from the greens where they used to roam, and now they don't get it because the, all they get is dry, modified grains. So the source of omega-3, surprise, surprise, it's plants. So if this person really got Parkinson's disease, which I also doubt, but let's say, well, maybe it's possible because Parkinson's disease is, is also another chronic disease stemming from some source of, inf of inflammation and omega-3 is what the body uses to reduce the inflammation. So maybe that, that's possible, but you know, you're just saying that inflammation, Parkinson's, then definitely it's omega-3. No, it, it could have a million other things that could be causing inflammation. But then let's say this person was low on DHA, so he couldn't control his inflammation. What does that say? Does it say that the vegan diet or the plant-based diet is bad for you? It just says this person was not having omega-3. Just like any other person not consuming omega-3 sources would also be deficient in omega-3. Not related to whether it's plant-based diet or whether it's an animal diet. If you want to get omega-3, the best sources, because you're not getting any of the crap protein, uh, animal protein and fat, saturated fat, fish are high in saturated fat, believe it or not. Um, so the best sources without that baggage are um, greens, leaf, dark leafy greens, Walnuts, chia seeds, linseeds or flax seeds, depending on where you're from. And finally, and I'm, there are many more, but obviously maybe in lower doses. Um, but the fi finally, there is also hemp seeds or hemp powder, 
um, that's also high in omega three. And one, well, actually, I was going to mention something about the protein deficiency, but uh, that's going to be another video. So, in conclusion, you know where to stick this article. Does cholesterol size matter? <laughs> so, I'm just going to type meats. Obviously, that's excluding dairy, it's excluding eggs, etc. But if you're going to quote all those articles, then why don't you check out all of these? And that's just page one. So let's say you've got five pages and you've got one, two, three, four, and six here. So that's 24 times five videos, actually. So each video goes through at least, in general, it goes through at least one study at least so you've got some in most cases you have to multiply it by the number of studies each time so and that's just meat and it's just one site so you can imagine if i had to give you other sites you've got the studies from well or at least the books which include the studies of um colin t campbell you've got china study and um, Whole. You've got uh, the Engine 2 diet. Uh, you've got reversing heart disease by Esselton. You've got reversing diabetes by Neil Bernard. You've got the Start Solution by Dr. McDougall, who has his own clinic where he actually treats people just with starch based diet. The, the list goes on. I, as I said, I went back on what I actually decided that I won't give this article much attention. Um, so I'm just going to stop here. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and click the subscribe button below if you want to keep watching my videos.